Good morning, Year 3, and welcome to Thursday's lesson. So today we learn to use personification. Now, we haven't come across personification before, so I'm just going to explain a little bit about what that is. So, in the poem, objects in the park have been brought to life by giving them human emotions and actions. This is called personification. For example, it says the slide smiles. Now, the slide can't actually smile. It's not a human, but humans can smile. So you're giving the object something that a human can do, and that is called personification. So the writer has made the slide seem like it is alive by making it do what people do, people smile. Let's make two lists, try and add in at least five more examples. So if you just get some scrap paper, you can split your page in half. And then what I'd like you to do is list things you can find in a playground in a park. So we're looking at nouns. Now some have been done here for you. Swings, a slide, a trampoline, grass, bench, seesaw, climbing frame. If you could add five more of your own to this list, thinking of things you might find in um, a playground or a park. So it could be things like um, a sand pit or a spider's web, monkey bars. So there's three things you could already add to that list. And then on the other side, I want you to list verbs. So things that people do. So we're not thinking about the um, nouns now. We're just thinking about things that people do, verbs. So some have been done for you. Laugh, giggle, dance, sing, moan, scream, whisper, chant, stare. Can you add five more verbs to this list? thinking about what people do. It doesn't have to match with the noun, I just need you to think of five more verbs. Now, I'm going to show you some personification that's been used in the poem. So it says here, the rope swing giggles. So the rope swings the noun and the giggles the verb. And it's not actually saying or meaning to say that the rope swing is giggling. It's just it's just comparing it to something a human does, which is giggle, which gives it more of an imagination. So really what's happening with the rope swing is it's making a noise, but they, they're comparing it and saying that it sounds like a giggle. We've got the slide smiles. Obviously it doesn't really smile. Let's have a look for any other ones. Um, oh, here we go. The gentle thump, thump, thump of the distant trampoline provides a steady heartbeat. The trampoline hasn't actually got a beating heart, but it's comparing the noise the trampoline makes to the heartbeat. Let's see if there's any other ones. Oh, here we go. The rope swing stairs. So it's saying the rope swing stairs. So the rope swing isn't actually staring. It doesn't have eyes. But it's, it's saying that it stares because that's personification, giving it a human quality. The slide glares. So when you've got your two lists that I've asked you to do, so you're just adding to these two, then you can start putting your noun and your verb together. So here are some examples. The swings giggled. Remember, it's past tense. The trampoline chanted. Now they've added to this. They've not just said the trampoline chanted. They've extended the sentence, a bouncy tune. So chanting, it means sing. So when you go on a trampoline, it makes a noise, doesn't it? So they're saying that it chanted a bouncy tune. The grass whispered secrets. The grass is not really whispering secrets to other parts of the grass, but the grass kind of makes um, like a light noise, doesn't it, in the wind. So they're saying that it's whispering. Now, if you look back at your list, you wouldn't say, for example, that the um, that the seesaw. Oh, you could. You could say the seesaw. Uh, the seesaw danced from side to side because when a seesaw moves, it goes up and down. You could have. Um, the, let's have a look. The climbing frame stared 
at the empty park. So all you're doing is putting your nouns and your verbs together in a sentence, but adding more to it so the sentence makes sense. And this is personification. So the nouns, it can't be a person or an animal. It needs to be objects that you're going to find in the park. And then you give them a verb. Have a go at it. I've got three examples there. I think on Purple Mash, I've asked you to do six of your own. If you're stuck, message us on the blog and I'll explain it in a bit more detail to you. Okay, I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye.